People say that there's a case of nerves when you play center court, but if Hanuman looking for the number three seed had any nerves today, they sure didn't show. She won the first set six love, Billy, and she just picked up right where she left off in the second set. Well, she was nervous in the dressing room before the match, because let's face it, we're into day four. She'd only had a half an hour of grass practice in the last week, but she did come through. She moved exceptionally well, and her touch was on, which is very hard to do on your first day in grass. And of course, we had a rain delay, and that stopped things completely for a while. When Hannah came out again, she lost the only game she lost in this match, and then picked up once more. And Eva never got going. Two years ago, she'd beaten Pam Shriver, but she couldn't put any shot away against the quick Hannah Malikova. And you just saw her at her very best right there. She had to go deep to catch one shot, came all the way back up and put it away. And that brought us to match point. And again, this was only a question of time, a mercy killing. Well, perfect grass court tennis coming, chipping and charging. And once again, Hanuman Likov at the net, just fending off shot after shot. Finally, the overhead puts it away, and Hanuman Likov was a 6-love, six 6-1 six winner. And when it was over, Billie Jean King had a chance to talk to Hanuman Likov, the number three seed. A lot of people feel that, you know, you really haven't reached your potential yet. What do you think you're going to have to change or do to actually, you know, reach that potential everybody's uh, talked about for so many years. I think relax more. I think I'm sometimes, you know, I get really. Uh, I know I was, I was very, very working very, very hard before Paris this year, and uh, I really put everything for it. And then, uh, you know, I got really uptight in the quarterfinals. And uh, I think it's the, the rela relaxation I have to really learn in the big grand slam tournaments. Seven, this is court one and the number three seed in the women's draw is in trouble in the third set. Hanuman Likova in the far court against Diane from Holtz Balistrat who's up a break 4-3 serving in the third. We'll rejoin Jimmy Connors from his oh. later. 30 love. 30, no. Balistrat with a good forehand down the line. You remember her as oh. Diane Fromholtz. Played Federation Cup for Australia, was one of the world's top players a few years ago, was married two years ago to Claude Balistrat, and is beginning a comeback, Joanne. She certainly is, 30, and the thing 50. that impresses me most about her game today is that she is hung in there. She broke right away in the second set, and Hana came back and won. And now she's hanging in again in the third set. Oh, great Ooh. return by Monlikova to go 30-all. Monlikova winning the second set 6-2 after Balistrat took the opener 6-4. We're at 4-3, 30-all in the deciding set. Live from Wimbledon on this Saturday. And a break point for Van Lekeva. We'll return to the Connors match shortly. We, of course, had a very busy day of tennis here at the All England Club. And with all the rain delays during the course of the week, many of the top players performing, and we'll have all the results for you before we say goodbye this afternoon. Play continuing on all courts at this moment. And Manlikova breaks back. The number three seed fighting to stay in this championship. It's four all in the third. Four games all. In that last game, Hanna really picked her game up a notch. She hasn't played too well first couple of sets. Sort of lackadaisical. And Diane has really dug in. And the thing is, she's not going to give up now. And we'll see that in this next game. 15 love. This girl with such enormous talent has puzzled many, so many predictions three years ago that this would be the next great player in the women's game, and she just hasn't lived up to that potential. At times, has been outstanding. Some upset wins over Navratilova, and then turns around and will lose an early round match in a tournament. Who? 
15 all. Meanwhile, adjacent to court one live at this moment, Martina Navratilova, one of the co number one seeds, along with Chris. I saw action. Hanuman Likova had broken Balistrat at four all, held service. And it's Balistrat trying to stay in the match and has that winning shot. Makes it five all in the third. So Monlikova, the number three seed, still in trouble as Diane Fromholtz, Balistrat, is giving her all she wants. You can see on the scoreboard, 641 in the evening is the live time. From Wimbledon, we'll return to Connors and Krishnan. This is live action, court one. On Lake of it down. Boy, and what a painful fall in the score. Balistrat, six years ago, was a quarter finalist when she was a regular on the tour and won a set from the champion, Martina Navratilova, in that quarter final. Oh, some daylight for the underdog. From Holtz Balistrat at Love 30. A woman you admire very much. Do you not, Joanne? Her gameness. I certainly do, and the fact that she's been off for two years. 15.30. The applause over on center court is for Navratilova and Bungi as they leave that arena. We continue here. Adjacent at court one, 15.30. 30 all. The difference between Diane Fromholtz in the beginning of the year and right now is a tournament she had two months ago in the indoors in Australia where she got to the finals and the confidence level is so different. And that's why she's still in this match. Right. First service. To bring you up to date, there have been two top seeds, the number sixes, that's the highest seed to be eliminated in this championship. Both men and women were beaten today. Pat Cash, the number six, and also Claudia Cota Kilch, number six. Oh! Mats Vilander was knocked off in the first round, but today two number sixes are gone. Ooh. That has been a lethal weapon for Diane throughout this match. Her ground strokes are her trademark, and plus the fact that she never gives up on a ball. You notice she has just chased down some balls that I thought were impossible. Made a good save there, but the smash gets Manlikova back to deuce. The only woman in the top eight seeds to be beaten today, Claudia Cota Kilch, knocked out by Joe Dury of Great Britain. The woman who beat Hanuman Likova in the French Open, scoring an upset there, and she's upset today. Advantage Manlikova. Anna, a point away from 6-5. No tiebreaker in the deciding set. Look at the length of those shadows. Misses wide. Monlikova fights off a break point. Hold serve. When we return, it'll be Balistrat at 5-6. Serving 5-6 to stay in the match. What was the call? Balistra thought it was long. It looked a bit long, but she loses the point. I don't think so much long as a bad bounce. Those baselines are pretty chewed up on court one. Love this Two points from victory. Hanuman Likova. 
Finalist in 1981, losing to Chris Everett Lloyd. chances to win it right now for Hanuman Likova. survives. And now for an update on the hostage crisis, we go to Roger Mudd, NBC News, for this special report. Check on the men's number three. We're out on court, go out to court 14. 14. There you see Hannah Manlikova. She's now down 5-1. There you see the score on court 14. Barry, it still doesn't surprise me that she's down. She is really a slow starter. She's lost the first set and in big trouble. Thirty fifteen. Thirty fifteen. Down five one. Forty fifteen. Forty fifteen. So this is now double set point for Miss Smiley. Good volley. And there it is. First set to Smiley. Back up to you, Barry Tompkins. Okay. Thank you, Barry McKay and Arthur Ashe. And a rather easy first set. the first set. Barry? Well, Hannah's coming back, Barry. She's up 6-5. It's 15-all in this game with Smiley serving. But Manlick of a definitely very much back in this set. Oh! Did you see that shot? Great passing shot up the line. And so now it's 15-30. And you don't see her smile too often. <laughs> she liked that last passing shot. 15-30, two points away from evening the match. It's out. A double 15. set point 14. for Manlikova. Barry, I always get the feeling, no matter how far down she is, unless she's playing Chris Everett Lloyd or Martina, that she's going to come back and win. She's a very patchy kind of player, Arthur. She plays in streaks, and she's showing the same form today. Bad start, and now... Nope. On the full run, misses that backhand. So Smiley stays alive, trying to get into the tiebreaker. This was Elizabeth Sayers, formerly from Australia, the married name Smiley, so she's one of the few married ladies in the tournament. One of only two in the third round here. Still, advantage man like a Good solid volley there. Well, we're looking at a tiebreaker here. Elizabeth Smiley, ranked number 55 in the world. Last year, she reached the fourth round here at Wimbledon, but really plays a lot more doubles than singles. It's Deuce. Walt, she didn't like the call. It's over the baseline, Arthur, oh, no, not that, that was tough a shot. That was a sloppy oh, yeah. error. It really was. She had a lot of time to hit that backhand. She moved over to it and then just tried to make too good a shot. And so now, Smiley with a chance to get even here at 6-all. Fault, first serve.
Now that's over the baseline, and there it is. Smiley holds serve. We are at six games all here on court 14. Big crowd out here, Arthur. We've covered a lot of tennis on court 14, but it always seems packed in a very busy kind of court. A lot of action around the outside. Still a bit early here. It's a fault. One zero. Arthur, Thank you. if you're Thank a seated you. player, you want to avoid a tiebreaker, I feel, because it's a definitely, uh, it's an equalizer. Yes. Now Smiley will have two serves. Now she could have elected to let that ball bounce, but she didn't. Took it on the volley in no man's land and hit the cross-court volley out. She actually made a tougher shot for herself. Yes, there. she did. I thought if she had let the ball bounce, she would have had a better chance. One all. Again, a fault. Both players out here on 14 having trouble getting the first serve in. Half volley, catches her in the same spot again, Arthur. Yes, man, I if I didn't get up to the net quickly enough. You know, we've got a potential upset brewing here. I think, here. man, look if I was in trouble unless she comes out of her lethargy and picks her shots better right now. She can't afford any loose points down a mini break. One, two. That was in. I think she hurt her right ankle. A little she bit. turned it a little bit there. Three, Th one, doesn't seem to be nine. walking or adversely or none too worse for wear. Nice you watch that again coming in. The backhand volley down the line and then she slipped and the resulting pass went cross court into the corner. Three, one, now one, smiley. Three. Fault, man. Look at it. looks very, very That slow. first serve looked awful. I may see a second a double fault here. Oh. <laughs> you can see Smiley <laughs> praying to the gods. Three, Why didn't that two. ball go over? Smiley. She tried a tough shot, too, kind of a half volley from the baseline. Barry, there's now more pressure on Smiley than Manlikova, I think. So we watch that again and watch her face. She hits this back, forehand cross court. It hits the top oh. of the tape, and what have the gods done to me? <laughs> she was really unhappy. 3-2, Smiley still leading in the tiebreaker. She has the first set, 6-1. Very decisive backhand volley. Good volley, Arthur. Didn't try and do too much with it. Saw the open court. He had a safe shot in there. And we have now played six points. The players will change sides. And Smiley now, three points away from a big upset out here. Man, I would say, along with the upset of Vilande, it would certainly be the next biggest upset in the tournament. Elizabeth Smiley, ready to serve. Leading 4-2. Good first serve. Oh, and she misses a backhand volley. Kind of hesitates there. I think, I she, think she was trying to make sure she got the ball back deep, and Four, obviously it was three, just too deep. It's a big point, Arthur. She could have been up 5-2. Instead, now she only leads 4-3 as... And they're back on serve. Lost the mini break. And lick of it is serve. Oh. It's a fault. At least that first serve looked a bit better than the one before. Half volley. No, oh. and she pulls it long. Oh. And so very luckily, and lick of a pulls even at five points all in the tiebreaker. She could have really had trouble with that shot, Arthur. It was a difficult half volley. 4-4. Four, four. four points all, beg your pardon. Yes, well played. 
Man, look at strangely is playing quite a few of the shots in no man's land. She's not waiting for the ball to bounce. She's Five, either tr four, trying to get five. the ball before it hits the ground on the fly or just trying to catch Smiley off balance. But she's paying a price for it right now. And look at us seated number three behind and the Smiley two. Smiley now. Sorry, Barry. If she just holds serve, she's got it. She does. Two points away out here. Court 14, a major upset brewing. Good for serve. Oh, and she blows that overhead. Hits it well over the sideline. The sun, sun's right in her eyes. 5-4. Interesting. 5-all. So, match Six, point for five. Smiley. Smiley. We are at match point on court 14. <laughs> what do you think she's thinking now? <laughs> <I'll tell you. laughs> oh. She'll be receiving. Boy, I would walk around a bit <laughs> if I were her. I'd just walk around, take my time, make man lick of a think about it, what she is doing. Okay, match point for Smiley. And that's there it. it is. Game set and match out here on court 14. Elizabeth Smiley, and talk about smiling, there she is. Very happy as she has won out here. 6-1 and 7-6. And there is a happy young Australian who has just created a major, major upset. Nice backhand there by Smiley. Really good footwork. Watch her move back into it. There it is. I just won. <laughs> she is happy. 6-1, 7-6. Very dejected player. Let's have a look at the draw out here. She's in the top half with Everett Lloyd, and of course, she would have her work cut out for her there in any case. Sukova seated seventh, Arthur, is that big, strong Czechoslovakian, and uh, they might clash. They might. Two more rounds there. And so there goes a very happy young Australian. She has just won, and we are now going to head back to the center court with Barry Tompkins. Okay, thanks, Barry McKay, and we are here now in the third and deciding set. So a match that is just about as close as can be. Meanwhile, we saw an upset in women's play earlier when Hanna Monlikova lost to Elizabeth Smiley, and we had a chance to talk to Hanna about that loss. Well, I thought she played very well in the first set. You know, she really didn't miss anything, and, I, you know, I am a sl slow starter, so uh, I really picked it up a little bit in the second set, and, uh, you know, I hoped that I can really turn it away, turn it you know, still back to win the match in the tiebreaker. Or I had uh, set points, you know, I had 5-4 and 15-40 uh, on, on her serve. And, and I, you know, I missed a couple, couple returns. But uh, I think she just played well and I just was not, you know, it was a difficult match. 